Black Warrior Lures. Welcome to the Inner Sanctum. <laughs> Always wanted to say that. I'm going to work on some rigs today. The Black Warrior tip rig. Um, it's the basis of all my flies. I've tried to do videos in the past on it, but um, it didn't, they didn't turn out all that well. And we're going to use up some old hooks here. Um, and what we'll do is a series of videos, looking at the camera there, I'm hoping you can see that. There should be enough wide angle lens, enough to capture what I'm doing here. Tying on the peak rotary vise and uh, black thread. One, two, three, four, five. Start out here. I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need two hooks. A front hook and a back hook. It's a tandem rig. I can show you an example of it. Um, this is what the rig looks like. You hear that? Plenty of sound. Plenty of flash here in the back, and you can put your bait, like whether it's uh, livers, gizzards, you know, cut bait on this hook, and then the back hook, the stinger, is just a, a fly, a flash fly. Um, but that's just one version of it. I mean, I have a bunch of different versions of this thing, and so what I'm going to teach you now is the basic version, which is the harness itself. What you're going to need is some 50 pound test monofilament. In fact, I have an old fly reel that I had 50 pound test monofilament as the uh, main running line. And you're going to start out here at the tip of the hook. One, two, three wraps there. Make a cut a length of, you know, about three, four inches. This fly relies heavily on CA glue. Just, just, just get ready. Lots of super glue in this fly. Or in this in this harness, call it the tip harness or the bait harness, bait rig. Um, you just want to come down here, not on the way down, not touching turns. Just usually just past the uh, tip of the hook, and um, and then on the way back up touching turns, or at least uh, close, you know, it doesn't have to be perfectly touching turns, but close to touching turns on the way back up. And I've never had one of these fail on me on the river. I've caught some nice big catfish. Um, I've caught everything from bluegill all the way up to nice big catfish. I've caught bass crappie with it. And also two here. you got a half hitch there. Right there in the middle of the super glue, and then you, you could just do a couple of half inches, but we'll do a whip finish there. Uh, just five. And snip it off, and that's um, that's the uh, bait. Uh, that's the the tandem hook, right? Just like that. Don't worry about the generally the direction of the line. It's, most of the line is going to have some sort of a curve in it, but you generally don't worry about it. Just whatever direction it falls, that's just where it falls. Okay, so now we'll do here. I got a weird batch of hooks here, some an old batch that I uh, uh, need to use up. Uh, some old hooks. This is done with J hooks. I've done these from, if you want to focus on bluegill, I'll just make them out of number 10 hooks. If you want to go with catfish, I would go with maybe one to three alt hooks on it. And then you can go anywhere in between, um, depending on the, if I'm using a light rod for either size catfish, I'll use like a number two hook. This is like a number one hook, and these are about the same size. Um, so put the second hook in, start out, take the hook that you had before. Just mounted right here on top. First of all, you want to measure it and cut it. Now, this is the basic harness, so basically, I have it really close, really close behind. And um, I hope my hand is not in the way, but you can see how to adjust things here. So, you can see here, um, I'm going to cut, snip the line right where, it, where I tie it on. One, two, three. And watch this super glue because if you get on your hands, my hands are already stuck together. <laughs> oh 
gosh, this is embarrassing. Be very careful with super glue because it's you know, super glue is designed to patch up soldiers in battle and back in Vietnam. So if you get in there on your hands, don't leave it together. And I'm usually not a problem, but you know, talking on the camera, I'm having to stop and explain, and that just gives more time for the glue to set up as I'm sort of holding things together. Same operation here, and yeah, that's what's happening. It's just, um, you know, I mean, if it's holding that bad, all the way back, non touching turns, and then on the way back up, touching turns. Okay. And that, my friends, is the basis of all my flies. Just the, um, that's the harness. Just get some of that. Whip, always half hitch first, then do some more half hitch, and then whip, three, four, five. And uh, there you go. That, my friends, is the Black Warrior tip rig. Again, use whatever size hook you want. Just make sure it's a general, you know, either a sprout hook, a limerick hook, or an O'Shagnessy type of hook, what otherwise known as J hooks. Just pick your favorite one in your favorite size, depending on your to use for your favorite species. Doesn't matter if it's freshwater or saltwater. It doesn't really matter. Okay, that's it. You can fish that just like that. You can put bait back here, you can put bait up here, you can have a nice big presentation, you have hooks pointing in all directions, and I have had, it, it works just like a hair rig uh, for carp fishermen. It works so well that way. And so that's the first uh, video in how to tie the basic uh, Black Warrior tip rig, or tip harness, or whatever sounds better.